I'll just show you a little bit of uh, a more complicated program that uses these if statements. explain this in a second. Just got to finish typing this up here. them out. Okay, this here is just a uh, small example of using some if statements here in Java programming. As you can see here, this first if statement will um, test a Boolean expression to see if test1, the test1 variable, is less than test2. Test1 is 3 and test2 is 5. so this boolean expression will return true and because it returns true this if statement block of code will execute and then in here test2 will be set equal to test1 so test1 is set to 3 so now test2 will be set to 3 as well and um, in this ne next if statement test2 is tested to see if it's equal to test1. So um, test2 is equal to 3 and test1 is equal to 3. So this boolean expression will return true and the if statement block of code will execute and it will say in the console test1 is this test1 variable which is 3 so test1 is 3 plus, well, this is actually just concatenating these strings together. And um, so test1 is 3 and test2 is 3. And here in this third block of code, it will say, um, I have in parentheses here, test1 times test2. So that's going to be 3 times 3, which will be 9. Test 3 is also equal to 9. So this Boolean expression will actually be if, if 9 is equal to 9, which will return true. And then this block of code will execute. So, and, and it will say, gotta love programming in Java. So I'll go ahead and execute that here. We'll run this. And there you have it. Test 1 is 3. Test 2 is 3. Gotta love programming in Java. So, that's just a uh, little tiny program that uses uh, different if statements to guide the flow of the program. And 